say someone knows that they were brought up in a certain environment, they're trying to escape that environment, maybe like escape their mother's shadow, escape, you know, mm. maybe it's, uh, you know, everyone in the family is like middle class or, or, or even struggling to pay their bills all the time and they want to succeed or maybe that everyone in their family is divorced or ha always has like drama in their relationship. They want to have a loving relationship or maybe everyone in their family just is unhealthy and they want to be healthy. How would someone make that shift from that biological uh, environmental culture uh, to them becoming who they really want to be and like yeah. and do it not in a way to push away the past, but to uh, really make a conscious decision outside of it. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes back to this quote that we started with, right, that the mind is more muscle than we once believed. It is something that must be continuously exercised to attain and maintain peak fitness peak performance so as adults and even as young uh, teenagers you start to get the sense that hey i can i can pursue my own interests but often people believe that oh because i've inherited my genes from my parents that means i'm stuck i'm go i'm going to play out this uh, the same pattern that they did uh, unconsciously. Why right? We don't even think about it. We just kind of assume that, oh, because my parents were that way or my culture has taught me that way, that's the the life I'm going to live. But keep in mind what, uh, what uh, Flynn's uh, research shows, that 40% uh, of our behavior, of our expression, comes from the genes. So that's not the, the, the whole picture, right? That's mm -hmm. only 40%. The other 40% is the environment, meaning we have a 40% chance of changing our environment. So we're not locked into our early life environment because we can create a new environment today. That's right. And then, then we have that extra 20%, like a bonus. <laughs> yes, so, so that means I can pursue education. Mm -hmm consciously as an adult or as a young adult uh, or even a, in, in middle age and older, you can still pursue education. You can tr retrain your mind and that will change your genetic expression. Mm -hmm. So because it is gene environment interaction, you're actually changing the potential of your genes, of your intelligence. So you, it's never too late. You can uh, join different groups that have different mindsets mm -hmm. instead of hanging out with the same people that it's the high school <laughs> I, it's so funny when i went back to my high school reunion after i started become became an entrepreneur it was like i had a different mindset around yeah. money around what's possible and i went to my high school reunion and it was like everyone was i didn't have anything in common with them it was just like the conversations were just about their children and you know uh you know, the gossip about who got divorced. And I was like, ah, no one's talking about anything really rich. And I could see that if I, and a lot of them stayed in the same town. And we see a lot of people, those of you who know, you go back home for all the holidays and you see your friend from growing up and you're like, they're, they're just kind of still there. They're still in that same bubble. And when we even, for me, even moving out of New Jersey, living in Colorado and meeting a whole bunch of different friends that are most of them were entrepreneurs and I, I was that's what drive, drove me to be an entrepreneur because I never thought of like that before of something I'd want and so having an environment different environment stimulates even stuff deep within you that your soul has probably planned and wanted yeah. to express in this life and now it, it's almost like look at those opportunities to that that these new environments are showing you so yeah. change your environment I would say is the number one it, it, like well, we have it, to do the inner work, but yeah, it's forty percent. Yeah, that's a big chunk of your possibility there. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can take the reins of your life, mm -hmm. your intelligence, your personality, uh, your abilities. Uh, that's a big opportunity that life is giving us mm -hmm. to direct our own evolution, our own growth, our own personal development. Then, if you consider there's a twenty percent chance, meaning it's up for grabs as well. So now you got 60% available to you to play with, mm. to, to design for yourself. You're not stuck in your genetic code. Mm. You're not stuck in your culture and your early training. You can now say, 
this is what I want to do with my life.